Yeah, hello guys. Let me show you the uh, numerical analysis made easy app for the TI Inspire. It requires a TI Inspire CAX, CAS, and uh, cannot run on a non CAS product. This app is very loaded. It has everything and anything that you may possibly need in a numerics class. So I would like to give you a brief overview first. It solves all the typical zeros problems, uh, quadratic functions, interpolation, differentiation, integration, differential equation methods as you can see here, Taylor series, all matrix operations. Markov chains and stochastic matrices, regression is in it, algebra and polynomials such as uh, Legendre polynomials, synthetic division, polynomial division, and last but not least, um, number based conversions, decimals, binaries, and hexadecimals. So let's look at some details. All these options come with steps. So let me demonstrate uh, demonstrate you a few options here. Zeros using the famous Newton-Raphson method. So you just enter your function, say x squared minus three, and a starting value of one half, and immediately you see the steps taken. Here's the rule that we are following and we are plugging in our first value one half in here and also into f and in its derivative and get our next value x1 use x1 here 3.25 and so forth and so forth and you can see that already in the third fourth step we're getting very close to the true x-intercept 1.73 and we are going here down using nine steps and you can see the decimals don't change anymore after the sixth decimal. Um, quadratic functions, we can do the quadratic equation, enter any quadratic equation and you can see um, the quadratic formula right here plugging in the values and then step by step we are arriving at our answer. In this case here we are going to get a complex solution. That happens. Interpolation. Two options, either the Lagrange method or the direct or conventional method. So you enter let's say 5x values and let's say 5y values. They are predefined. You can use your own of course. And an x value that's optional that is used in to evaluate that polynomial. So let me show you the steps. So here's the setup. We need to compute the uh, von der Mond matrix, which is computed right here for you. Solving this matrix equation for the coefficients a, b, c, and d, right here. This is done right here you get the coefficients you plug the coefficients into the third degree polynomial for a b c and d and here is your interpolation polynomial very accurate we're using here 10 decimals and as i said then you can enter an x value like 16 into this polynomial and you get this interpolated value if we use 17, we're going to get a similar value, slightly dif different. Um, differentiation. You can do average rate of change, secant lines, etc. Let me show you the three difference quotients. Backward difference, central difference, forward difference. Just enter your function, say x squared, the point and the difference h and you can see how the difference the different difference quotients approximate your derivative and also the second derivative is approximated right here um, 
Integration. We have all the Riemann sums in here, trapezoid, Simpson rules. Here you enter your equation, function x squared, let's say, or x cubed for a change. Um, our interval from a to b, in this case from 2 to 5, using three sub-intervals. Okay, you scroll down and you can see that the step size is then 1, 5 minus 2 divided by 3, and the right Riemann sum, left Riemann sum, trapezoid, midpoint, Riemann sum, and Simpson will give you those exact values. If you want decimals, which is pretty much uh, desired, just make one of the inputs a decimal, such as the A value, and you can see that all the answers are automatically the decimal solutions. And down here we also showed what the exact value would be for this interval, definite inter integral. Differential equations, all the typical numerical methods are included, of course, Euler method, modified Euler, Hoyne method, Ralston midpoint, and of course, Runget, Kutter, order 4. Let me show you Euler method, enter any differential equation of your choice, x, 0, y, 0 is of course the starting point, 0, 1, and we're using four steps here. So you see your starting point, 0, 1, and then the four steps, and you get your four approximated values using uh, the Euler method steps. Again, if you want decimal numbers, make one of your inputs a decimal, and your final answers are going to be, of course, decimals as well. Uh, Taylor series, very neat feature. Enter your equation function such as sine of x, develop at a equals 0 using 8 uh, terms, that means degree 8, that's actually 9 terms, degree 8, and then you can use this uh, Taylor polynomial to evaluate the, fun the Taylor polynomial at point 2. So let me show you. Well, for sine of x, we find the coefficients to be all uh, either 0, 1, or negative 1, dividing by the factorials as the formula calls for. We're going to get 1 over 6, 0, 1 over 120. Obviously, this is an odd function, so we're only going to get the odd um, coefficients for the Taylor polynomial, which is here odd function and then we are plugging in point 2 into our Taylor polynomial to approximate t of uh, point 2 to get this answer. We of course have all the many matrix operations here matrix basics, matrix operations, rho echelon of course forwards and reverse, Gauss elimination, eigenvalues, orthonormal basis, Gram-Schmidt. This alone is a full app by itself. It's a very loaded. Let me show you, say, the uh, lower, upper, lower upper factorization. Enter your A matrix, any A matrix. Uh, must be squared matrix, of course. So we're going to do our row echelon computation to arrive at the lower matrix L1031 and then we can find the upper matrix to be 1202 which is the result of the row echelon computations. Everything nicely done step by step. Um, regressions we have linear, quadratic, uh, quartic, cubic, power exponential, sinusoidal regression, anything you possibly need. Algebra, as I told you, synthetic division, Legendre polynomials, uh, find possible rational zeros. And lastly, on a lighter note, let's convert some numbers, say 
16, as you may know, is 10,000 in binary or just 10 in hexadecimal. If you're given a binary number such as 1001, you can see decimal is 9, hexadecimal is also 9. Well, as I said, this is a very loaded program. You need your TI Inspire CAS that is required. And, uh, well, this app and many more apps are available at tiinspireapps.com. Thanks for watching.